a quick overview of feature-based cost estimation for PTC's CREO using NitroCell. Cost estimation basically just costs money and it's a painful process. It typically involves somebody reviewing every part, assembly, and drawing manually. And the knowledge that they must have to do this well requires um, a good understanding of internal and external production processes to even come close to a, an approximate value. Cost estimates are always going to be that, just estimates. There's always a huge fudge factor and it's easy to price yourself out of profit in business if you're not careful. Commercial tools do exist, but they're complex and expensive. Typically, there's quite a bit of software training and implementation involved, and they're very good for highly vertically integrated enterprises, but they're really hard to justify for small to medium businesses. Modeling standards have always been painful to create, follow, and force. Yeah, there's tools out there like ModelCheck, which are helpful, but they're not 100% perfect. And typically, most companies live in a find and fix environment, which is different users, different sources of data may not be modeled correctly and just have to be fixed as you go along, whether they be simple things like parameters or whether it's more drastic like geometry. If you're used to outsourcing, typically require one thing and get whatever back, and it's too easy to accept substandard work when you're under pressure and just move on. Modeling standards can help the process of cost estimation if it's planned for, used properly, and applied correctly. The keys we've seen to success are this. Just standardize your parameter names and values first. Make sure that that's done correctly. To this day, we still bump into way too many companies that can't determine what the parameter description should be or the value structure for many, many, for many different models and assemblies and drawings that they're dealing with. Limit your modeling to only the needed feature types that are really applicable for the type of part you're dealing with. So a whole a slot or a cosmetic is, is preferred over just using a cut for everything. Apply naming conventions to everything. Model names, parameter names, feature names, even flat pattern names. Name geometry to kind of fill in the gaps. So if somebody models something as a sketched in feature versus individual features like this surface could be, it's important that you come up with something that's parsable. Um, in Excel without remodeling the part into individual features. So in this case, we've come up with a little schema that says we want the feature type, a unique identifier, and then the quantity of them that are involved for that feature, and then it's easy to pick up. When you're doing feature-based cost estimation with NitroCell, these are the really the key areas that you need. You need a Creo part or assembly, and you also need an Excel model of what your material costs and manufacturing costs are to produce your final costs. From the Creo model, you're going to extract things like the geometry, you know, things specific to the geometry, like profiles, bounding boxes, the parameters, and any feature types, names, quantities, or parameters that they may contain. Material costs are easily derived using simple uh, calculations. For example, using the bounding box and raw, materi raw materials as lookups to find out how much is there and what is it, or maybe the finish involved. And then you can extend that further to say, like, for example, if I'm dealing with a, a sheet metal part, I may want to calculate the number of profiles and the length of those profiles, combine those with the cost of material, and then combine everything together uh, to obtain a final cost once I've done all my math. The material costs are actually quite easy to extract. Um, first thing you have to know is kind of what is it made of? Well, that can come from a parameter in the model. And then the second question is how much is required? So if we were actually to take the bounding box of this particular part and combine it with a parameter for the material cost, we could actually determine quite easily how much material is involved and what would it cost to make that. The processing costs um, are a little bit different. You have to understand what processes are involved. Um, and that could be something like, uh, is it a laser cut part or a plasma cut part, or is it something that's manually done? And also what features exist and how many, or what does a feature cost to process? So if you're dealing with um, certain types of materials and certain types of features, you could actually come up with internal costs for answering simple questions like, well, how much does it cost to put a, a slot in a piece of sheet metal versus a plate versus a bar versus a tube? The raw material costs plus the processing costs equal your estimate. So the math for this, again, is very simple. It could be done in Excel. Um, and all you're basically doing is just extracting data from the Creo model and then combining it to come up with your estimates. So what this would look like is we would take a Creo model like we have here, and then we would simply write out the geometry data, combine it with the, the uh, formulas uh, that relate the table data that's in Excel to come up with a derived cost estimate. So let's take a quick demo in the uh, next video of how this works with NitroCell.